Hello my friends. In today's video I'm going to be trying out this ultimate pouring medium which is developed by PBO and Nancy Wood. If you're not familiar with Nancy Wood, check out her art. She has an amazing sense of color and design and her work is really, really beautiful. I think it's similar in look to the bloom, which I do not do because it's just too many ingredients and also a lot of people are doing it and doing it well, so you don't need me to learn how. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd give this a try. This is only a, a two-part ingredient thing. Um, not very much. These are very small. I, I bought the starter kit because I just decided to go with the recommendations, but I think you can do it with um, other paints as well. I'm going to try. But this is a very small bottle of medium, 250 mil, and you need to use 85 to 90% of pouring medium to 10 to 15% of paint. So this is not gonna go very far. And then the catalyst is used in smaller ratios, but this is a very tiny little bottle of it. So I don't know what to expect. It was not inexpensive, so um, they do sell larger bottles of this, different sizes, and the catalyst alone without the paint. But I'm going to tell you it's quite expensive. <laughs> so I'm going to try it, though, on one of these small rounds. And if uh, then I'm going to try it with these paints and one of my pouring mediums and this catalyst and see if I can get a similar result. And then if that works, I'll try my pouring medium, different paints, and if I have any left, I'll try it again. So that's the plan. It's kind of a three-pronged video. I just have these little small rounds to start on. And we'll see what happens. So let me do some mixing, and I shall return. Okay. I think this is going to be a quick experiment, my friends. I may only do two. Um, for starters, I've used up more than half the bottle, mixing my white base coat and three colors. And this has a terrible odor, I think. It's very offensive, so not enjoyable. Uh, the Catalyst has an odor, but it's not as bad. But there, there is very little in here. I think this was maybe half full, so it's tiny, tiny amount. Uh, so let's give it a go though. So here's my um, base coat and I see lumps in it. I'm not happy about that. It's been sitting for a while. I'll pour it all out. I'm not going to Need any more. Look at all the lumps in there. I stirred and stirred and stirred. And those are not air bubbles, I don't think. I think they're lumps. So that's a little Not good. Oh well, I'm not gonna spend time trying to wipe it out. Okay, and the, the paint I mixed, uh, way they recommend, same way as the base coat. So I think I'll just do a puddle kind of thing. That is some kind of violet, that's yellow ochre, and this is Turquoise. The PBO paints are, are nice in consistency. Uh, 
Okay, and then the, uh, the black I'm using for the, the swipe is the one I mixed the catalyst with, and, and it says to use half part or 50% catalyst and one part paint, one part water. Well, it's very, very, very drippy that way. And so I added more paint and more water, and then I ended up adding more catalyst because I wanted to still try to maintain those ratios, but I don't know. Because I did watch a video of Nancy with the kit, you get a little access secret password to watch, to watch her do it. And when she put it on the um, palette knife like this, it, it stays. So I know it had to be thicker than what I ended up with initially. So let's see what happens. Just skimming over the surface. Well, there's a lot of cells popping up. That's good. Wiping off the uh, palette knife between each use. I don't know, they're not nice round cells. They're breaking up. I'll put a little heavier on the palette knife. And let's see, let me add some more paint here. So far, I'm not impressed, my friends. Okay, I've got more on the palette knife now. But as with, it, with anything, it takes practice. But the problem with such small containers, um, by the time you get the hang of it, you know, you're gonna be out of medium. Let's just try this over the uh, white. Oh, that was a bomb. Okay, that was too... It didn't work. I don't know what I'm... All right, let me try tilting it around and see if um, see if it tilts well. That's the nicest part there. But it's all breaking up. I, I'm not impressed. Hmm. No. Not impressed. Let's try it with my um, polycrylic mix as the base and see if that's any better.
Okay. I just used the Polycrylic Mix and Artist Loft white here. Try again. Oh, I tell you, it smells so bad. Uh, really. <laughs> not enjoying this at all. Ugh. All right. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, look at that. That's a much better effect than um, than that, I will say. So this is the Polycrylic Mix and Artist Loft. Not the ultimate pouring medium, but it is the ultimate pouring medium catalyst. But sadly, I don't. You can't buy a catalyst without buying the pouring medium so it doesn't really help you I think that's pretty in through there Okay. Okay, you can't go over it twice <laughs> because it it breaks up. So one um, one swipe is all you get. I think I think I could go over. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but I like this. That's pretty. But that did not work out. Let's see how it this tilts. I'm going to tilt that whole thing, that part off. No, it's breaking up over here. My friends, I, I'm going to give this stuff a thumbs down. Maybe with some more practice, but it's, it's quite expensive. So I'm not going to recommend it to anybody. And the smell is awful. So I'm turning this off. I'm throwing this away and 
or I'll scrape or hose these off and I am done with this. I'm sorry, Nancy Wood. Two thumbs down on this product. Ugh. 